Okay guys, this is contrast from reverse negative, and yeah, guess what? I'm not on camera, but that's not po the point of the video. The point of the video is to make a fake error message in Notepad. You don't need anything else, you don't need any other programs or anything. All you need is Windows Notepad, and it comes basically with every computer and everything. So basically, if you don't have a notepad file, I actually have a test file right here. If you don't want to, if you don't want to use it, I don't care. But I, if you want to make a new notepad file, just right click anywhere and click new, right click new text document. And then you just name it to whatever, blah, and then you open it, right? So here, here it is. Here, here's your text document. And what you want to do is type in x equals msg box, then have a right bracket, left bracket, and then quotation mark. M M is x equals msg box, right bracket, right, I'm sorry, left bracket, quotation mark. Then now you're going to type in what the message is going to say, what the message is going to be on the error, when the error comes up. Now, now say I want it to say, um, hot, hi, this is an error. It's an error. There. Then you have another quotation mark to finish it. Then have a comma. Type in 16, then have another comma. Now space. I'm not sure if it matters if you have a space or not. I just usually do. And have another quotation mark, and now you're going to type in what the title of the error is. Like right here, how that's a title, you type in the title. So this title is going to be error. Then another quotation, then right bracket. Now you're going to save this, and now you know how it says usually says .txt at the end? Well, you're going to rename .txt to .vbs. You're gonna just rename the file extension to .vbs, and if you don't, and if you're on like Vesta or whatever, and it doesn't show the file extension, I'll have a little tutorial in the description on how to show the file extensions, so you can rename it and make this error message. So, I don't, I'm not showing the file extensions right now, and I don't feel like going through it all. So, I'm just gonna open up one of my errors already. Hmm. Open this and see lack of epicness chicken nugget biscuit nugget in a biscuit. See, that's my error message from before that I've made. It's really fun. What you sometimes what you want to do is you want to rename it to something like Internet Explorer, and then you want to and then if you want to really push it, go to like properties or whatever, and then you can edit like the icon and all of that stuff so that you can um, go on someone's computer and delete their shortcut for their Internet Explorer and then replace it with this. So then when they try to open their Internet Explorer, this comes up. Hope you guys have fun with this. And you know what? If you don't, if you don't have the, um, if you don't want to type the code in or whatever, I'll, I'll have a copy of the code in the description as well. So then you can just use that. This has been Contrast from Reverse Negative, and have fun messing with your own error messages.